today I'm going to show you how to create something really fun, simple, but really, really versatile for Easter or perhaps Mothering Sunday, which is coming up very soon. So in today's vlog, I'm going to be showing you how to use letter mash and make it into a wonderful creative art form. I shall be showing you with three different letters and I will obviously talk you through what essentials are required for creating these wonderful masterpieces. The essential tools required, glue, a glue gun and glue for the gun. Do make sure that you keep this well away from children because glue guns can get very hot but you just need a very small, a small glue gun for this. Some embellishments, rabbits perhaps to represent Easter, to fit in with the seasons, scissors, glitter that will need to be stuck down, glitter backdrops or wrapping paper, any recycled wrapping paper, it's a great opportunity to use up your recycled pieces double-sided tape and if you wanted to give a great personal touch and I've got an array of personal pieces a slightly more chic glittery finish with letters and sparkles and some embossed gold letters there my first letter will be using string. I want to create a, a rustic feel to my canvas and this is how it's done. So what you need to do first is wrap the string around all the way up to where you can see up to the, the end of the E, the, one of the E shapes just to measure how much string you're later going to use, but you mustn't stick it down. Just continue wrapping it round without any glue being there. Just this way you'll get a good feel of what length the string is required. So with the string we previously cut, I'm now ready to start gluing and wrapping. So the first thing you need to do is to apply the glue right the way along the edge, as I have here. And then, immediately after, so that it doesn't dry, because it dries exceedingly fast, push in the string, press it to right to the side, making sure that you're not leaving any gaps. And apply the same technique on the other side. Just nice and smooth and flat as you wrap actually quite therapeutic. Continue all the way up just as we did previously. And that's how it's done. So here's my before and after. And I thought I might just add a little finishing touch just to create a bit of a personal feel to it. It's the perfect Mother's Day gift. And we're going to place a age on there. Of course you can put her name somewhere and you can add all sorts of colourful embellishments to it any way you wish. That's the beauty of crafting with a letter match. And here is another example using a letter J and obviously this is perfect for the younger age group and I thought that a caterpillar, something in fitting with spring, would be perfect. Again, with our lovely sparkly glittery backdrop, you can of course use recycled paper here, so perhaps wrapping up paper that may have gone in the dustbin can make a wonderful backdrop to start with. And then you just add in your own flavour and theme and imaginative pieces, and this is what makes it such fun to achieve. Thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it. And also these can be used as bookshelf hold-ups 
or as a hanging decoration, not just as a gift. So happy crafting and have a wonderful Easter and mothering someday.